Okay, now we will solve problem 3.43 of study cookbook. So the problem says use mass analysis to find VAB and I0. VAB is here and I0 is here uh, because this is a loop on a resistance so we can apply ohm law. So we will have VAB is equal to I0 times the resistance. So the resistance is 30. So we only need to find I0 and automatically we can find VAB. And now we let's find I0 by using mesh analysis as asked by the problem. So this is our goal. And let's draw the loops here. Let me draw the loop. I draw it clockwise you can draw it counterclockwise but you will have slightly different calculation than mine but it's okay you will get same result no problem so here I will start by naming each loop loop 1 loop 2 and loop 3 and let's call the current that in this loop I1 I2 and I3 so if I0 is here and this loop is going here so I can simply make that I0 is equal to I3 so now we need to find I3 let's start by let's start at loop 1 so now let's do it at loop 1 what do we get here we have voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign is negative and it is 80 volt again we are using KVL here so the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to 0 and now we move on to this resistance here it is 20 ohm and we need to convert it to voltage by multiplying it by the current that pass through it the only current that pass through this resistance is I1 and then this resistance here it's 30 and we need to convert this into voltage by multiplying the current so we have I1 but we also have I3 flowing on the opposite direction of I1 so here and this last resistance it is 20 ohm and we need to multiply it by the current that pass through it I1 but I2 is also flowing there but on the opposite direction so I will subtract it and that will equal to zero now let's do some simple algebra here for minus 80 I want to move it to the right hand side so I will have 80 on the right hand side now for I1 it is 20 plus 30 plus 20 so I will have this one is 50 plus 20 it's 70 I1 and then for I2 I only have minus 20 here so I will have minus 20 I2 and for I3 I only have this one minus let's move this 80 more right for I3 I only have minus 30 I3 and let's save this as equation number one now let's move on to loop number two and we can do exact same thing but for loop two loop two okay we apply kvl so the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to zero now we start by we start at this voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive so i will have minus sign 80 
and then plus this resistance here I have 20 and the current that passed through it is I2 focus on I2 but I1 is also flowing there but in the opposite direction so I subtract it by I1 and then I have this resistance here the 30, 30 ohm one so I will have 30 ohm and I multiply it by the current that passed through it so first is I2 here but I3 is flowing on the opposite direction so I subtract it I3 and then the last one is plus 20 and the only current that passed through it is I2 and that will equal to 0 so now let's do some algebra again so minus 80 I want to move it to the right hand side so I will have 80 here and for I1 I1 I only have this minus 20 minus 20 I1 and for I2 I have 20 plus 30 plus 20 and that will equal to 70 I2 and for I3 I will have minus 30 I3 okay let's have this as equation number 2 now we move on to the last loop 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 3 again the sum of voltage is equal to 0 in a loop and now we start at this resistance here it's 30 ohm and we multiply it by the current that passed through it but focus on the current loop that we are looking at so I3 but I1 is flowing on the opposite direction so I subtract it and let's move on to another resistance here 30 ok I will have 30 the only current that passed through it is I3 or I0 but I will write I3 here so it's more logical to think it as I3 and then plus this resistance here again 13 I3 but I2 is flowing on the opposite direction minus I2 and that will equal to 0 ok now for I1 I only have minus 13 minus 30 I1 and then for I2 I only have minus 32 minus 32 it's not 32 but 32 I 2 and then for I3 I have 30 plus 30 plus 30 it's 90 90 I3 is equal to 0 now let's have this as equation number 3 and we have equation number one number two and number three let's write that as matrix so i will have three by three matrix like this <coughs> and this one let's write the coefficient of this 70 minus 20 and minus 30 and then this coefficient minus 20 70 and minus 30 and then this one is minus 30 minus 30 and then 90 and that will and we multiply it I1, I2, and I3 
and that will equal to this one 80 and this one 80 and then this one it's zero so we have this matrix here and you can solve this by using MATLAB or any tools else so let's do that and I will tell you the result we only need to find I3 so let's let me erase this this right side of the board <laughs> plug this into MATLAB and I will tell you what is I1, I2, and I3. So I have done plugging it into MATLAB so I get the result is I1 is 2.66 and I2 is 2.667 ampere and I3 is 1.778 ampere so I get I0 is equal to I3 now I can I0 is equal to I3 here so I will have 1.778 ampere this is for I0 and for VAB, we just multiply this by 30. So VAB is I0 times 30. And let's do some calculation here. 1.778 times 30 is 53.344. And this is our final answer. And hopefully I did not make any mistake. So thank you for watching.